before starting the job we have to close the starting air valve and control air supply for the puncture valve we have to confirm the valve number by seeing the drawing in the maneuvering platform so once uh, the control air is supplied uh, once the control air is stopped then you have to isolate the fuel supply for the particular fuel pump so all you need to do is uh, you have to remove the handle of the fuel inlet so that uh, it will avoid accidental operation of the fuel valve so it is always recommended to remove the valve handle for the particular fuel pump so that uh, as i said earlier it will avoid accidental operation of the fuel valve fuel oil inlet uh, valve so i had removed it i had uh, secured it now the next thing is i need to drain the fuel oil so for that uh, we have we can see the drain valve behind the fuel pump it is always kept tight because uh, sometimes due to vibration the valve tends to open so in order to avoid that we used to tighten it with a, with a wire so just open the wire and uh, open the drain valve very slowly because sometimes if the main valve is not holding the oil can splash out so you have to open it very slowly and ensure the oil is completely drained then only you start opening the fuel pump top cover so we are waiting for the fuel oil from the particular fuel pump to get drained completely you can see the oil is coming out through the drain pipe so the oil is completely drained so the next step what we need to do is you have to open the safety air supply for the particular unit this is the safety air line for the particular uh, fuel pump so we have to remove the connection for this uh, pipe i am removing it so now we are removing the safety air line for the particular uh, unit so okay we are removed it so once uh, the air connection is removed then the next thing is you can start removing the puncture valve please follow the given link to know how to remove puncture valve So now the puncture valve has been removed from place and uh, once the puncture valve is removed just have a quick inspection and uh, keep the puncture valve safe. So now you can see the suction valve uh, is easy to access. So now we can remove the 
suction valve from place for removing the suction valve you have to use a special tool and uh, you can see two thread slot over top of the suction valve and you can see two bolts in the special tool those two bolts should be threaded these are all the two bolts one two so these two bolts should be threaded on top of the suction valve and the other two studs should be insert on top cover it's for supporting the tool so that the tool don't rotate so the two bolts the 17 bolts have to be threaded on top of the suction valve and the center stud is the jacking stud so now i am fitting the bolt on top of the suction valve so both the valve both the bolt should be tightened equally and once the tightening is done you can uh, jack the stud bolts once you tighten it you have to just jack it once you jack it you can see the suction valve is coming up so all you need to do is it is not uh, a big thing to do it is just jacking up uh, like it is just easing up the suction valve to come out from its place when i tighten the bolts you can see the center part is coming out coming up that means the suction valve is coming up from its place the reason why we use the tool is because uh, the fuel pump uh, we are using heavy fuel oil so that uh, the heavy fuel oil tends to get jammed so in order to ease it up we are using the jacking tool and before uh, sometimes uh, you can even put some diesel oil on side of the suction valve so that it may give additional uh, support for easing up the suction valve to come up so always be careful when we are uh, when doing some work with the fuel pump and particularly when heavy fuel oil has been used because it is under high temperature so now uh, it the jack has been done you can see the suction valve is loosened and it, it is turning also so next all you need to do is just give a jerk it's come up that's all this is how you have to remove the suction valve from place as i said when you are using when you are opening the suction valve when heavy fuel oil is used be careful because it is very high temperature so you can see the surface where the suction valve sits on top of the fuel pump so you have to clean the surface properly with clean rags and we are doing the cleaning now so cleaning manually with the help of rags for removing the impurities which have been inside the suction valve and puncture valve seating area so now uh, we use buffing machine to remove all the dirt impurities with the short nose uh, buffing machine so once uh, the buffing is done on top of the fuel pump puncture valve area we can use a long nose uh, buffing machine to use the seating surface of the to use to clean the seating surface of uh, suction valve because uh, this kind of pneumatic machine pneumatic buffing machine don't reach the suction valve seating area so that you use a little bit longer uh, nose buffing machine to clean the surface this is the surface of uh, suction valve so we are using the long nose one so use it remove uh, all the impurities like uh, sludge and everything because these hard sludge get deposited on side of the puncture valve area puncture valve and suction valve area so that we are cleaning it so you can see yeah, it is inspect while inspection you have to check for any damage on the surface 
any pitting mark any scoring mark all those things we have to check so next I just blow air once uh, blowing is done then use diesel oil again to clean the suction valve surface area so now we are doing that uh, cleaning with uh, diesel oil so diesel oil is a very good cleaning agent uh, when you are doing some job with the highway fuel oil missionary maintenance so use diesel oil clean it and inspect the surface check for any pitting mark any crack <coughs> any damage on the surface of the surface and wall of the top cover so ensure it is clean without any uh, dirt impurities and sludge and everything you can see now the surface of uh, suction valve is clean so change the o-ring for the suction valve then uh, apply some coat of uh, anti seizer it can be either copper slip or molly coat so just uh, inspect before uh, installing the suction valve there should not be any damage any dirt or nothing it is completely clean so i am fitting back fitting the new overall one just fit on top of it and press it give you a press you can see yeah that's all it gets seated it should not protrude out that's all you can see the suction valve has been seated properly so this is how we have to remove and refit uh, suction valve for main engine man bmw so next one this is done fit the puncture valve tighten it and that's all so how to refit the puncture valve you can see the link that i had shared uh, in the beginning of this video and okay once uh, we are done with the job connection had to be done so open the fuel oil inlet valve very slowly 
and open the drain valve very little and ensure the fuel oil is coming out from the drain pipe without any air so the idea is the system should be completely free of air so once uh, the fuel oil starts coming out without any air then close the drain valve fully and open the fuel oil inlet valve completely and once this is done check for any leakage on the top cover area so okay then put back the control air system normal that's all we are done with the removal and refit of section valve main engine